Hello, my name is Neil Ford. This autumn, I'm going to be teaching a hands-on workshop called Architecture as Code, which tries to get to the reasons modern architectures don't work. In the land of generative AI and agentic coding, you often accidentally end up with something like this, or you start with a pretty good working architecture, but it slowly turns into something terrible. What this class does is look at software architecture and its intersection with nine different parts of the software development ecosystem. Infrastructure, engineering practices, team topologies, system integration, the enterprise, generative AI, of course, implementation, data topologies, and the business environment. And for each of these intersections, we define that intersection in code in a way that we can declaratively define how architecture impacts that part of our ecosystem. For example, data consistency. In a distributed architecture, we often struggle with data consistency across separate databases. We can define that in code we want data consistency across these domains and assert that they have to be consistent and then implement fitness functions in architecture to make sure that they are actually consistent by looking at the actual data moving through our architecture and validating its consistency, writing architectural fitness functions. This is architecture as code. We also show ways to mitigate inevitable negative trade-offs. As architects, we constantly have to make decisions. We know that there are negative side effects, but we have to make that decision anyway. For example, mono repo versus repo per service. Neither of these is always correct because each of them have downsides, like what's the danger of the mono repo? Cheating on dependencies. What architecture's code allows you to do is take an architecture like this and define and assert how dependencies should work in that architecture as a way of protecting against the engineering practice of a mono repo. We also show, this is part of the hands-on aspect of the class, how to take that pseudocode and generate actual fitness functions in Java or C Sharp or Python or JavaScript in a wide variety of different languages, leveraging the language part of large language model. And so we leverage modern AI not to do architecture, but as a tool to help you interpolate pseudocode into real code. We investigate each of these intersections in architecture with hands-on exercises. So please join me this fall for our hands-on architectures code class, which is the basis for the next book Mark Richards and I are working on. I hope to see you there.